Elsa was a duchess accused of killing Gottfried, her brother, by Telramund, who was wed to Ortrud, who was more evil than a mother bleep. More evil than a mother bleep, because she actually turned Gottfried into a swan, which you don't find out until the end of the opera. Oops. But Elsa doesn't know. So when Elsa has to defend her innocence, she has a creepy dream. And when her judgment day arrived, she prayed to God in Himmel, and so it seemed. Her savior arrived on a boat, pulled into dock by a swan, and he agrees to marry Elsa on one condition that she never asked who he was or Elsa. LOL. Now the evil couple is mad, cause Telramund got creamed by the galleon knight, her savior, who is now being honored by the king. Orchard says the knight's faking, Telramund calls him a witch, and if that ain't the pot calling the kettle black, it's calling it a son of a bleep. Okay, okay. Elsa and the knight are wed and on their way to bed when the foolish girl lets slip the question that she couldn't get out of her head. Telramund busts in with his crew. Elsa cries boo-hoo, throws the groom his sword. We all sing good lord, boom, Telramund's dead on the floor. They go and fetch the king and the knight explains a few things. Like his name is Lohengrin, he's the son of Parsifal and he can no longer serve the king. As he bids his farewell, Ortrud boasts her the spell that the swan was the boy. Then the men take their toys and they kill her to bloody hell. But right before that, Lohengrin prayed that Godfrey's life be saved. So the boy, young and frail, reappeared as the dove of the grail led Lohengrin away. As Elsa falls dead, never broken heart. What Elsa? LOL. Dun 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 dun.